This was not to happen. Now what we have is a pile of debris. You, General, are to blame. I believe he is aware of the punishment. Take him out and shoot him. Get him out of my sight. Comrade Stalin, the General is not responsible for the destruction of the... I personally monitored his actions. And who then would be to blame? Clearly, the General is at fault. <laughs> General, consider this your redemption. You are to lead the attack. All traces of the Alliance. Comrade, Commander, the... Continue! Comrade, and you will find yourself on the floor with Kukov. Assemble a strike team. A continental Soviet Union is our destiny. Are you serious? Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lion's Den, Panzer King here. And you can see, I have been given some impossible orders to try to take back everything that's been lost at Russia. But, that's not all. The Argentinians way down in South America decided to throw their hat in as well, creating more problems for the Americans and more than likely taking away a victory point or them down here in South America with the Monroe Doctrine. Not good times for the other powers of Europe and the rest of the world. So, we are gonna look and see at the wonderful devastation provided to us by Hambone. And you can see there is a lot of Germans occupying right up to the Urals, just like Sta or, uh, Hitler's dream was. And Ambon has played a wonderful game. The only bastion staying alive is this little place called Leningrad. And that's a $10 um, damage on my factory, which I'm going to repair this turn. Which, hopefully, if things go well, I'll end this game with one, at least one major factory. But this place is probably the most important place on the map right now for the Russians. But look at all of those damage markers, rail markers, fire markers, even uh, there's a small garrison in Crimea holding out in Sebastopol. So, Hambone has done a number to me this, this game, but not just me, the English as well. Surprised he left Scotland, maybe he felt sorry for them. He definitely didn't feel sorry for the Russians. <laughs> but nonetheless, it has been a great game. He has destroyed the last battleship, last British battleship, so I can only assume that the Italians will probably produce a battleship down here in the Mediterranean to get another victory point, more than likely. But there is now no allied, or I shouldn't say allied, but um, any capital ships aside from the USS Lexington down here in the Atlantic. And look at all those German U-boats. Just an impressive amount, and look at Five jet fighters in the British Midlands right there. Just crazy. But let's not worry about Western Europe. Let's worry about Eastern Europe. Our capital here in Novosibirsk is still holding strong. Those darn Japanese betrayed my trust even after I spent a hard good six IPP. So we're going to have to try to block them. There's not much we can really do about it aside from moving this transport out here. But we're going to do a few combat moves first. But before we do that, we're going to try to complete one last tech, and that's going to be improved factories. Uh, since we do have now a factory up and running, a major factory, we're looking for seven or more. Look at that, seven by the hair of the chinny chin chin. Sadly, it doesn't get us our victory point because I was stupid this game and thought long range aircraft was what I needed, but in fact, it was actually heavy bombers. So, yes, we won't talk about that. We won't talk about that right now. But we are doing some attacks, minor attacks here. We are going to do a walk-on into Sartev because our militia can attack. They can go on the offensive. And we are going to take that back for the Russians just for a little reprieve and a little bit of honor. And now him taking that territory back 
also promotes him to guard status. Over here, we also have another attack in Western Russia. And this attack is going to comprise of, well, we have a motorized guards Order of the Red Banner troop coming down here to Western Russia. He can move to, there's no mountain, there's no modifiers, none of that uh, sort here. So we can move this motorized down here. We can move my jet fighter down here as well as this medium guards Order of the Red Banner which is a lot of promotions these guys have got or received, I should say. So that is that as well. So um, I'm not gonna fuss too much about that attack. It's either gonna be a victory or not. Um, another thing that we're going to do is we, oh, I could, but I don't know if I want to. No, I don't think we're gonna worry too much about it. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, we could use this Strat Bomber just to bomb German industry. Oh, hell, you know what? Let's just do it. We'll bring it in there and see what we can do here. Obviously, they can scramble those jet fighters uh, to protect them. And I think there is just three there, so they can scramble three up to an airbase. So let's do that as well. Let's just see if we can get that plane in there. I doubt it, but you never know. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, everybody. So let's just do this battle right here. We're going to roll our jet fighter just to see if we can get a, uh, get a victory. Now, the only thing is, um, I, did I do apologize because I just realized there are two fighters in Moscow. And now I just realized that uh, they probably are going to scramble in there to protect that Italian troop there. Um, so what I might do in Leningrad is bring in two infantry as well to secure that victory, as well as, I believe I should have three advanced artillery there. We're gonna bring that in as well. Um, I'm gonna go with Hambone, probably trying to assume that he will want to uh, scramble. And, uh, and we'll go with that. If he doesn't, well, we can always change it. But nonetheless, we're going to go in there with overwhelming odds, or at least try to go in with overwhelming odds. So we'll do air superiority right now. Two fighters up against a Russian jet fighter. And I did get a hit, and he got two hits. So we lose two fighters each for that round. But they also still have one fighter there, which also caused a casualty, probably to one of the infantry. So we'll also, I should probably do this first, but we'll just do it anyways. We'll roll first strike. Um, three dice for first strike, and they're attacking at a four. And we do have one hit there too as well. So that's obviously going to kill the Italian artillery piece, which is all what we really need. And then we'll have the remaining two units. And that is a Confucio at five or less. Actually, technically it's six, but that's a nine. We have a guards tank, medium armor. We have a motorized, which is attacking at a four. <coughs> Sorry, and we have two infantry. And we got two misses there as well. So um, we will probably take one casualty with the infantry. And we'll roll that sequence again since that fighter is still in the battle. We'll roll our artillery, advanced artillery. We have a hit. That's all we need. And then we'll roll retaliatory strike with the fighter. And that is a miss. So once again, Hambone, I didn't ask you, but like I say, the war is at an end. If you're fine with that, let it be. If not, well, the Russians will take no casualties and we will just walk in there more than likely. Um, I don't know if I rolled the artillery. Oh yeah, because it was a first strike. The artillery, actually the artillery does get a strike. Sorry about that guys, I forgot about that. And he did get a hit. So I will take one more infantry off of that anyways. So that is what we take this area with. It's kind of a mute point, it doesn't really matter, but we take this territory back. Some of these get upgraded to guards units, um, but not all of them. But nonetheless, we bring a little bit of honor 
back to the Russians. Didn't even really talk about my buy, but we we're actually gonna build a jet fighter here. Uh, we paid off the damage, and then we were just gonna do simple and easy and build 10 militia. So consequently, we'll do our non-combat movements now too. Um, this jet fighter will be flying here to stop any further Japanese aggression. Um, we will be moving uh, since we, yeah, we don't have to worry about the Germans because this is our last turn, but we do have to worry about the Italians here and they can possibly move into some areas. So we're going to move our jet fighter up to the front. We're going to move this transport plane and we're going to drop off a guy here in a moor and he will stay there. Uh, there's not a lot else we can do on that side. Uh, we're going to move in these POT uh, fighters down here because they can go three spaces. One, two, three. Just help defend that area. Um, as well, we'll move this guards tank into Stalingrad, which is right here. And I think, I think that's it. I think that is it for now. We're gonna lay our militia down. We're gonna lay one in Gorky. We're gonna lay one up here into that area. We're gonna lay one into Northern Russia. We're gonna lay, uh, we are going to lay, sorry, bear with me here. One in Yorel over here. We're going to go over to the east now. Put one in western Manchuria. One in northern Manchuria. One in Amor. And just for safekeeping, we'll put one in Kareil. We're going to put one militia here. I don't think anything can reach the, jet, uh, the capital here. But nonetheless, I've seen worse things happen. But since the war is over, we'll just put like one unit down there. Um, and that'll be it guys that will be it so thanks for playing i really enjoyed this game uh, oh wait sorry we forgot to do this battle right here so let's just roll the jet interceptions here and we'll just go down here as well carpet bombing and if you want to look at our jets here they are they have an interception of five so this is not good this is not good at all but might as well try see if they can get through no, there's at least one hit, sadly, so he does not go through. But if he did, hypothetically, what damage would he have incurred? Oh yeah, eight bucks. But nonetheless, it was well worth trying to at least do one dash, <coughs> sorry, one last ditch effort to, uh, to hurt the German economy. So guys, you can see here, Russia is in ruins. There's bouts of resistance in the north but only in due time will it fail and collapse. So Comrade Stalin will probably take me out and shoot me here if there is a next video, <laughs> which there won't be. Um, this is my final combat video. There's gonna be a few summary videos for this game, but ultimately I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the setup, some of the drama I put into this game, and it's been a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Standing group of guys, I'd play with them all again, no issues. No issues at all. I just might want to be on Hambone's team next time. <laughs> uh, which, incidentally, I might be. We might be playing another game here real soon. Uh, but not this game. So, nonetheless, I won't talk any more about that. But take a look at Mark the Shark, who's also played a really good game. In my opinion, I think a really good game for Japan. And uh, see how he defends against the American blockade of his home country. Because the Japanese are no slouch. They have been doing wonders in India. Wonders down here in Africa. And they still hold some colonies down here. As well as in China. They have been basically booted out there by the CCP. And hopefully um, we will be okay. Now that's another thing I actually totally forgot too. Was the CCP. Uh, probably was not really going to attack this turn. We were going to be on the defensive. I did have seven bucks to spend this turn. So what we're going to spend that on is an infantry and an artillery and we will put it here in the capital of Peking just to uh, just to help fortify that area 
and we'll also put an infantry here in Peking too. We have a recruitment role as well. We don't need to worry too much about collecting our income here, but our recruitment role will be a four. And I think that gets us to Grandma's house, it does. So we will put uh, two militia in Peking as well, help to defend that area as well. And uh, that'll be it guys. So Peking will have a total of two militia, um, four artillery and infantry and a mountain. And if anybody wants to attack it, uh, which I'm sure the KMT will, they will, they're graciously can, or they can go after the Japanese, but we'll see. We'll see. It's been a lot of fun, guys. Panzer King signing out here in the Lion's Den, and I'll see you again for the next YouTube Wars. But keep an eye open for a few more summary Skyhawk videos, because everything is not finished just quite yet. Take care, and see you guys later.